To add constraints or guide curves to these surfaces, we first need to add some planes that they can be drawn upon. We might be tempted to add planes in this area that are simply parallel to the front plane. But the problem is that this surface goes from being nearly vertical in this area to horizontal in this area. And this surface does the same going from horizontal in this area to vertical in this area. If we had a vertical plane in this area, for example, and try to draw a profile curve on it, the profile will be at a severe angle with respect to the general direction of the surface in this area. SolidWorks surfaces tend to work best when the planes that the profiles are drawn on are tilted to be perpendicular to the general direction of the surface in that area. This prevents the mesh that creates the surface from being distorted or stretched in odd sort of ways. So a profile plane in this area needs to be drawn at an almost horizontal angle. A profile plane in this area needs to be drawn at about a 45. And a profile plane in this area can be almost vertical or perfectly vertical. A profile plane in this area would also be at a 45 degree angle. The easiest way to control the position and angle of this potential multitude of planes is to create a master control sketch. Drawn on the right plane is a sketch with a series of construction lines that represent the angle and position of the planes that I wish to, con to create. They can't go perfectly perpendicular to the seat curve or the upper edge curve, but you can see that they follow the general flow of this S-shaped surface. This plane will be close to horizontal, this one close to vertical, this one vertical, this one's slightly off vertical, 50 degrees, and close to horizontal. This plane and this plane are where this severe curvature ends here and here, and the flatter curvature begin here and here. We will add one plane at a time, making a plane which is perpendicular to the right plane and passing through each of these construction lines. Select the plane tool. I've already selected the right plane. The default is to offset, but my second reference is going to be one of the tilted constructions. And then it defaults to passing through the construction line and perpendicular to the right plane. So now we see we have a plane tilted at the same angle as my construction line and perpendicular to the right plane, which is also my mirror plane. In this manner, all of the guide planes can be added one at a time to our model. On each guide plane, we need to draw a concave curve which will bridge from this edge to the middle guide. That curve will just be a simple arc, pierced to this edge, pierced to the middle guide, and tangent to a horizontal construction line so that when it mirrors over, it will be a smooth curve. If we draw all of our curves before creating any surfaces, they'll end up looking something like this. You can get a general feel for what the shape of this surface, or rather all three surfaces together, are going to look like. In part five of this video, we will actually go ahead and make these surfaces.